Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to run C++ programming language inside Visual Studio Code. But before we start that, I'm doing this as a part of my teaching assistant at University Technology Petronas. I have told my students that we have popular IDEs to write C++, including a list of these items. Atom, Sublime, Visual Studio Code, Code Blocks, Dev C++, the list is so big. I have seen that some students are using Dev C++. If you search for this editor exactly, you will see that it is almost outdated now. It is no longer maintained. Dev C++, the last or the last stable release for this program is two years ago. Uh, some of them also are using code blocks, which is okay also to use, but you have to maintain something that you will use for this of your degree level now you are still in first year first semester so i believe that you should have something like visual studio code in which you will use it for the rest of your course you can use it for c++ for java for html any language that you will take during your uh, degree journey you can just install an extension for that language and then run it also you can use an online editor to write your c++ program uh, including these two online GDB or programmes, just also search for C++ online editor. You will find that we have many websites that will give you uh, the same functionality. You just open that website, choose your language, for example, C++, and then you will write your program inside the main, click run, you will get the output directly. But of course, using an online server will require you that you have to be connected to the internet all the time. You cannot use it in writing a full project because this website is very simple. It will not give you the full functionalities of a normal editor. So let's start with our tutorial. First of all, you just search for C++ and Visual Studio Code. You will find this link. Just open that link. You will have a simple step-by-step -step tutorial to install your uh, C++ and to run it inside Visual Studio Code. Number one, to install the VS Code editor itself from this link. Step number two is to install the extension for C++. Step number three is to install the compiler. Step number four is to add the compiler path inside the environment variable. Step number five is to create your first program inside the folder. The first thing, of course, is to have the Visual Studio Code program. You will have to click on download here to download the software version for your laptop or your PC. I'm using a Windows, so I will install Windows 11. As you can see, if you have a Mac, you can do it with this link. After you install your uh, program, the next step is to install the extension. As I said, after installing this program, Visual Studio Code, you can go to extension. So you just search for C++ and then click on this button, install. It will take a while to install this extension for C++ inside VS Code. After that, I should go for the next step. You have to do, or you must have a compiler. You can check for whether or not you have a compiler inside your laptop by writing this or this one. I will open my DOS command, cmd, then I can write gcc version, click enter, the same here, or g++ version, the same, you will see that it is not recognized. That's why I don't have an editor for C++ installed in my machine right now. So I have multiple options, you can go for each one of them, for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS. For Windows, there is a direct link here. I can click that link to install the main GW compiler. A compiler is basically uh, something that translates your code to anything that the machine will understand. Now, I will click on installing this program. It will take a while to install. Just make the setup by next. Choose the location, keep it default, next. Also next, it will take time to install everything. Now click finish to run the compiler. As you can see, we have to copy and paste this message, copy. 
and then paste it here sometimes when you copy this message you will find that it can give you some letters at the beginning like this one I have seen it in some machines for my student just remove everything and then click enter you will get a message to install the required libraries and files for C++ click enter you will get another message asking you to yes or no to install these uh, required files I will do Y then it will take some time to install everything now after we install all the packages you have to follow the steps written here I will open the settings for this windows then search for environment variables and try to add this link inside my path so I will copy this message then search for environment environment go to in environment variables path edit then here you have to click new and then paste the same path okay okay and then I added my path now I can check to know if my compiler is ready to use I will open again the those command if you have it already opened you have to close it because I added the path so you have to close and open the command again now I can type GCC version previously when we run this uh, command we were getting uh, that the command is not divine right now I am getting the version of my compiler also if I try uh, GCC version any one of these I will get a value GDB version so right now I know that I have done my third step finally I have to create my first project to create a project inside the Visual Studio code you must first create a folder in which you will hold your project or, uh, or the file that you need to execute you cannot simply create a file and then try to run it you will not get an output and sometimes you will get an error that's why as illustrated here inside this description you have to create a folder first so add folder to workspace then I will create my folder let's say in the desktop I will say C++ demo so this will be my folder to hold my project or my file and then inside this folder I can create my first C++ file let's call it activity 1.cbb since I'm writing C++ then right here I can start writing my first activity in C++ let's copy and paste the program that we have it from this online editor and try to run it I will try to make a run from this icon because the default right now it is debug there is a difference between debug and run so to run a program you must click run you have to select your default uh, compiler for that one so I will choose the gcc.exe the second one then as you can see see the terminal this is the message okay the program is executed so what has been done we created only one file activity1.cbb this is our file that I will write my programming code inside now what has been created from the editor itself there has been a creation for activity1.exe as you as you know C++ uh, in order for it to run in Windows we have to to create another file with .exe extension also for the compiler itself it creates a task.json file inside VS code it contains some information for the compiler to know how to execute this program so later on if you create another file for example activity2 cbb copy and paste the same one if I say for example integer x is equal to 10 then we say hello world and x I'll just message x is for example now let's run this program you will always see your output inside the terminal so x is 10 this is the output 
and as you can see there is no creation for another task.json it only happens once and now I have another file for activity 2.exe by this we finish our uh, tutorial for how to run C++ inside uh, Visual Studio Code uh, mainly we have four main steps install step number one is to install the VS Code itself step number two is to install the extension for C++ step number three is to install the uh, compiler and the step number four is to add the, the path inside the environment variable thank you for watching this tutorial I will see you in the next one